Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I have been gone for a really long time, almost a month or exactly a month, but I've been so busy. So today I got a little bit of free time because I didn't go into work today, so I decided to just film a quick video and I thought, what better video to film than a massive haul? Um, this is actually a birthday haul. This is everything I bought in the month of November and I thought I would share it with you guys. So let's get started. Um, I'm gonna start off with the face and the first product I'm gonna show you guys is from Belief. You guys know that I'm obsessed with the moisturizer and so I bought this kit because it retails for the price of the moisturizer itself. And so the moisturizer is $38 and then this box retails for $38 and it brings two extra products. It brings a moisturizer, the eye cream, and a serum. Really love this moisturizer. It's a Korean skincare brand and I really do enjoy it. Next, I repurchased my Clinique Clarifying Lotion in the number three. I used this more when my skin was oily, but I still use it and I feel like um, it still works pretty well for my skin type. And in the winter, my skin tends to get more oily, which is weird. Usually people's skin gets drier where mine gets oily, so it's been working amazing. So I've never tried the sheet masks from Sephora and so I decided to purchase one of them. This is the avocado one. It's supposed to uh, nourish and repair your skin and so I got it so that I could try and I'll let you guys know how I like it. I also bought another Ole Henriksen um, serum. This is the vitamin C one. I have hyperpigmentation and vitamin C works very well for uh, dark spots and so I gotta buy something for these dark spots and this is one of my favorites. So I've been loving this new primer. I've already tried it and it's amazing. And it's such a different consistency than other primers I have ever tried in my life. And it is the J1 Jelly Pack Primer. It's supposed to have skincare benefits so it claims to firm your skin and improve its elasticity. And it is also supposed to smooth out your pores. And I must say that this is the only primer that helps with my smile lines. This is just amazing. I love it. I highly recommend it if you are willing to pay the $42 for it. I also bought another MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I really do love this concealer. I especially love it because it has so much coverage, but it's not heavy. And I don't find that it creases like a lot of other concealers. So the last item I got for the face is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I love this stuff. It actually works, at least for me, it does. Okay, um, moving on to eyes. Um, I purchased two different mascaras. I got another tube of the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I really, it's not my favorite, but I love the way it makes my lashes look. The reason why I say it's not my favorite is because it flakes on me. But I find that when I mix it with another mascara, I don't have that issue. So the mascara that I've been loving to mix it with is the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. Um, I also like to mix it with the... Um, What's it called? The Benefit Roller Lash. I feel like it gives me the most beautiful lashes. And so I got these two. And then I got the CoverGirl So Lashy Mascara from my Vox Box, which is horrible. I don't understand the technology behind the wand. Um, it makes it really hard to apply mascara. As you can see, it has like a little ball. A spiky ball at the tip of the applicator and it's just really uncomfortable to apply mascara I don't like it I don't recommend it I do get these things sent to me for review um, but it's just not my favorite I'll leave a link down below for influencer in case you guys want to sign up for that moving forward with the eyes I got another uh, pack of salon perfect 615 lashes these are one of my favorite lashes aside from the Demi Wispies these are so beautiful and they are long but they're not dramatic and it just makes your eyes look so pretty. I get lots of compliments when I wear these and I highly recommend them if you can find them because they're always sold out wherever I go. Okay, so for this month, I've gone palette bananas. Like, I've got so many palettes. Some new, some not so new. Um, first, I'm going to show you guys a Z palette I got from my job which is beautiful and it is this gold Z palette. This is so beautiful. And so I decided to put all my neutral shades in here because I feel like it just goes really nicely with the palette. Um, but yeah, it's so pretty and it's girly and I had to have it. As soon as I saw it, I got this. Next, I have two palettes that are, aren't too new, but they're new to me. And I have the Tartlet in Bloom palette. And I remember when this first came out, like I was so thirsty for this dang palette because I was seeing it everywhere. But it wasn't all the hype, to be honest with you. I thought I was going to love it more than I do, but I, it's just a regular basic palette. It's really nice for weddings because it has all the colors that you need. And it smells like marshmallows. It smells like delicious, fluffy marshmallows. And the colors do blend easily. There's nothing wrong with the formula. It's just... 
I don't reach for it as often, but if you are looking for a good neutral palette, you're not a type of person that, you know, goes wild with their eyeshadow and you don't have a neutral palette, I do recommend this one over the Naked palette any day. Another palette that isn't too new, but it's new to me, is the Urban Decay Moon Dust palette. But yeah, this is what it looks like. It's super beautiful. I'm sure you guys have seen it all over social media. Um, a lot of people don't like this palette, but I feel like it's because they're using it as a regular eyeshadow. I use it as if it was a loose pigment, so I use a glitter glue with the eyeshadows. I remember the first time I tried it on my eyes without a glitter glue. The eyeshadows by the end of the day were no longer on my eyelids, but when I used it with a glitter glue, they were perfectly fine. It worked out beautifully, and everyone was complimenting the glitter on my eyes. So this is a good one to have for holidays and special events and stuff like that. So it was a good buy. Even though it's not an everyday palette, it's good to have it in your kit. Speaking of Urban Decay, I do have the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics palette. Um... Look at this. Look at this. I really do like this palette. I'm not a fan of the Naked palettes because I feel like once I blend all the colors into my crease, they all look the same. There's no differentiating what shade I use and I'm not about that life. Um, but I like this palette because I like a palette that has both cool tones and warm tone shades. And as you can see, this palette provides that for me. The colors blend super easily. They're super pigmented. I have no problem blending them out. And um, I feel like the quality overall is pretty good. And like I said, I always love a palette that has diversity because there's some days where I like cool tones or some days that I like warm tones. And if you're a type of person that just does the same thing, I feel like a palette like this will push you a little bit out of your comfort zone and you will end up using other colors that you're not used to using. So I really do like this one. I feel like it's going to be a great gift for those people that are just getting into eyeshadows or just or that just need a neutral eyeshadow palette now for a palette that I was super excited for a palette that I was like dying for um, it is the Kat Von D metal matte palette this palette is so beautiful let me just show it to you guys look at this look how big this freaking palette is I think the size was the thing that got me the most excited because I've never I don't have anything this big um, the colors are beautiful. I love these shades. They're so pigmented. I did have some people return this palette because they said that the swatches uh, weren't doing the palette justice. But in my opinion, you're not going to wear the eyeshadow palette on your hands. You're going to wear it on your eyes. So if you use correct brushes and you know how to blend your shadows, this is so worth it. I do agree that the hand swatches aren't the greatest. But once you actually play with the palette and apply it onto your eyeballs, you will love it because it is super awesome i have uh, no complaints about it i love it and i feel like it's an awesome palette and it's so big like what can you this is awesome okay so a palette i swore on everything i was not gonna get i ended up getting it um every time i walked into work i was like i'm not gonna buy it i'm not gonna buy it every time someone bought it i'm like okay i have to buy it i actually went to another store just to get it and it is the master palette by Mario and like I said I wasn't gonna get it because I kept telling myself it's just a basic ass palette do I need this I do not need this but I ended up getting it because I'm a fiend like that and actually I'm really happy that I did because the quality of these shadows are so awesome the metallic shades are beautiful like I can't get enough and even though you might have shadows that look similar to this in your eyeshadow collection, there's just something different about these. And I'm not mad at it. And I know that I'm going to use this a lot in my freelance kit because a lot of people prefer neutrals over wild colors. So I'm happy that I got this. Last on the eyes, I did get a ColourPop shadow. It's called On The Rocks. And it's just a nice bronzy color. I actually saw Desi Perkins do a tutorial and um i wanted it after that i wanted the eyeshadow now on to a couple of brushes i went to target the other day and i picked up the elf ultimate blending brush i also got the contouring brush and i got this so that i can bake underneath my cheekbones with my powder and then i also got this brush from sephora and i got it because it was bedazzled and it's a mini version of one of our brushes and i love tiny sized things i think they're so cute and why not it's bedazzled and it goes cute with the z palette that i bought okay i am almost done i did purchase three colors from color pop i got the color viper hutch and love bug so viper i think it's definitely a dupe for aria by stila but just just a little more pink 
It's a beautiful color. Excuse the horrible swatch. Then I got the Ultra Satin in the color Hutch. And every single time I wear this lip, I've worn it like four or five times. Everyone compliments this lip color. And last, I have this color Love Bug, which is so out of my comfort zone because I don't really like orangey red or red lipsticks, period. But there's something about this rusty orange red that just rocks my world. And I love the way that it looks on me. Um, I can't get enough of this. I don't get as much compliments on it, but I personally love it. I think it's a beautiful color. And now to some boring stuff. I got a few cosmetic wedges to put in my uh, freelance kit because I ran out. And then I also bought the Sephora Solid <laughs> I bought the Sephora Solid Brush Cleaner because I heard this is very comparable to the Beauty Blender Solid Cleaner. And the Beauty Blender one is $20 and it runs out so fast. This one is less than half of what the Beauty Blender one costs. And so I want to see if this one is just as good because if it's good and it costs less, I'm definitely going to be purchasing this one a lot more often. And so I will also let you guys know how it works. That's pretty much it for my haul. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. If you guys want any tutorials with any of the palettes that I've purchased, please do let me know down below. And even if you don't, I'm still going to do it because I want to make tutorials with my new palettes. So, bye!